Hi guys, today I got something really special for you. I have made this Excel macro, Excel kind of a tool you can say, that can help you understand if the niche you have found on Redbubble or actually any other POD website, but I'm gonna get into that in a minute, um, will make a sale. So as you can see, we've got a couple of columns here and the column F and G for the score of the niche. So let me quickly go through all of these columns here. So first we've got a niche name where you can simply um, write down the niche name you have found on Redbubble, TeePublic, because look at that on the from the perspective of a seller, it doesn't make much of a difference if it is on Redbubble or TeePublic or Zazzle or any kind of a, POD website, the criteria will be almost the same. So in column A, we've got a niche name and in column B, there is a number of results. So simply, this is the number of the competition there is uh, in this specific niche. Okay, um, I will quickly get into that later in this video. In column C, we have um, the column which says is Redbubble or is um, any other POD website you are currently using on the first page of Google search results. So this is a yes or no type of column. The column D uh, is your tax spamming. So if you don't know what tax spamming is, this is basically um, some kind of a illegal behavior on Redbubble, which is like when seller is using the repetitive tags over and over again. And the reason why they're doing that is simply to get ranked um, as high and as fast as possible in the niche. And the last column, uh, column E, is how many searches does it have on Google? So this one might seem a little tricky for you, but I'm gonna show you how you can check that uh, in a second. Okay, so let me, let me go to my browser. So let me go here. And I use the Bubble Spider to do my niche research. If you haven't seen in the previous video, I have shown the exact method step by step how i do my niche research and the bubble spider is there so you can definitely check it out if you don't know how to use this tool so i found the niche that is a quote niche here uh, it says wine is the answer what was the question so you can click here and it will directly go to redbubble so as you can see there are similar designs here and there's there is um 512 results so this is our number of competition and let me quickly um, check if this niche or actually how um, many monthly searches this niche will have on Google. So you can copy the phrase and go to something that is called Keyword Planner. This is a Google Ads tool to help you um, look how many average searches per month the specific phrase has on Google. So let's uh, copy this here and click on get the results. And as you can see, the wine is the answer. What was the question? Has average monthly searches of 10 to 100. So on average, people are searching for the specific phrase from 10 to 100 times a month. Okay, so we've got almost um, all of our data we need to put into our Excel sheet. However, um, we still are missing two. So we just have to check if there is a um, tag spamming in this niche and also each third bubble on the first page of Google search. All right, let, let me quickly um, do that. So how we can check if there is a tag spamming in this niche? Simply just click on the few of the first designs uh, in this specific keyword. And now you just need to go down. Uh, let me go. And as you can see, there is definitely a tag spamming in this niche. So obviously this is illegal. You cannot do something like that. You can get your account suspended for doing that. Um, but okay, we got an info that um, the niche is using tax spamming. And now the last thing we need to check, as I mentioned before, is um, is Redbubble on the first page of Google search results. So I've checked that before. I'm gonna show you right here. I have just copied this phrase into Google and as you can see, we've got Amazon, we've got um, TeePublic, Creative Fabrica, Etsy, but there is no Redbubble on the first page. So we have 
all of our informations we need. Let me quickly go here and let's copy the um, niche name so we can put it here uh, and you can actually wrap text. Yeah, to have a better vision of that. Okay. Now the number of results, it was 512. Is the first, uh, is Redbubble on the first page of Google search? We have checked that Redbubble is not on the first page of Google search. Is there tax spamming? Yes, there is a tax spamming in this niche. And how many searches does it have on Google? So uh, as you can see here, you have a range of uh, possible monthly searches so it is from 10 to 100 however uh, if you want to um, actually check the exact number of searches you would need to download the excel sheet file from from google we're not gonna do it uh, right now let's just assume it has around 50 searches um, per month all right so we can type 50 here and we have our niche um, a score points and score percentage so basically the score points are the points you can get um based on the like you can say algorithm i don't know the, the function i have written uh, for this exact tool in excel so from zero to maximum of 235 points and the score percentage is obviously um the the percentage of the score points where you can get from zero to 100 percent where 100 percent means that the niche is almost perfect to sell in, okay? So let me just quickly play around with all of this, uh, with all of these things. So you can get the perspective what would have to be um, better to, to get the better score points. So for example, if the number of results will be smaller, let's say it would be like 400. As you can see, we have better score points here. Um, and is Redbubble on the first page? Let's say that Redbubble is on the first page. Again, 150 points and 63% uh, of the score. Is there tax spamming? Okay, maybe let's say uh, in this niche there is no tax spamming. As you can see, we already turned green and we have 74% uh, of the niche score okay and how many searches does it have on google maybe let's say it does not have 50 searches but instead it has like hmm, let's say 150 okay 150 and again the score points um increased to get like the maximum i think we would just need to get uh even more google search uh google searches per month so let's type like 5000 and here is the example of a perfect niche. So small number of Redbubble results. The Redbubble is on the first page. There is no tax spamming in this niche. It has a lot of searches on uh, Google. So it would be like a super perfect niche that if the design would be good enough, I'm sure it would definitely make a sale, okay? Okay, so more or less that was it. I hope you like the video. I hope you are gonna. I hope it's good. This tool is gonna be useful for you. The link to um, the link to how you can get this keyword planner for free is gonna be in the description. As I remember that I watched the video uh, YouTube video myself how you can get this for free. So I'm gonna leave it down. Uh, in the description the link to bubble spider also is going to be there and i'm also gonna put the link to um download this redbubble niche tool in excel so you can use yourself guys um that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching uh, have a great rest of your day and bye bye